WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, a very rainy Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we begin our day with a slightly mixed bag. The mix is coming from the NASDAQ, whether it's the NDX 100 or the NASDAQ Composite, both trading to the upside 26 and 36 points, respectively. Dow, the other side, 193 points to the downside. S&P's down 8. Russell's off 18. Semi's down 15. Gold is up five bucks. Silver's up fifty, or down fifty-eight cents. Natural gas off thirty pennies. Natural, I'm sorry, light speed crude is down thirty pennies. Natural gas is up about fifteen cents. Thirty treasuries basically flat. It's up five ticks. Let's figure out what all this means <clears throat> by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin with the ES mini. So they're just like yesterday. By the way, the profile that we took a look at yesterday for the ES for the NQ never came to fruition. But they both of them have popped back up again today. So they're trying to do the same thing. So we'll go with the data that we've got right now. And right now what we see is resistance between at the 5385 level. Support is at 5277.50. Yesterday, price did close above that 5368.25. That's the swing point high for May 23rd. That triggers an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. Spot Politonix basically got up to the 50-day exponential moving average, looked and turn back down. <clears throat> Not until we see a close above 1360 will any move to the downside be sustained. The NQ, it already has a A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. 2151 is its price target, but it too is attempting to form a new profile. 19155 is where the sellers reside right now. 18880 are where the buyers are parked. If we take a look at U.S. dollar index, it's moving higher. We're trading above yesterday's low. We've got that buy the D point bottom that formed out here. On June the 7th, uh, it looks like uh, price might be targeting the 106.38 level. That's the top of its bullish structured weekly profile. If we take a look at Goldilocks, gold holding up pretty well so far, especially in the light of a rising U.S. dollar index. Uh, price right now is testing its breakout level of support. That's at 23.22.70. Really would be a close below 23.08.70 that would uh, signal some uh, some real trouble ahead if we take a look at silver testing the top of its daily profile 2909 is that level we got down to 2995 this morning light sweet crude is trading above profile so we've got a buy the d point bottom with a profile change in trend that suggests that it should head higher now the first target should be at swing point from may 29th that's anywhere between 78.99 and 80.62. Lights we crude targeting a 316 level and a 30 year treasury still holding its support, which is above the top of its profile, 116.20. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed show, if you will. But if you have to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. And we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.